So in this video, we will present to you the topic uh, for the chapter 14, focusing on the managing the finance function. But before we proceed to our topic, let's define first what is finance. So finance is a study or a, a system of circulations of money includes like for example the making uh, credits we have also the making of investment and facilities banking uh, banking facilities now there is a provision for banking facilities it is the science or the study of the management of funds so that is the meaning of finance so we will proceed now to our topic so what the functions of finance is so finance function is the important management responsibility that is concerned in the with the procurement and administration of funds with a view of achieving the objectives of the business if the manager is running the firm as a whole he must concern with the determinations of the amount of funds required when they are needed how they are to be obtained and how they could be used effectively and efficiently. In the performance of his duties, the manager, whatever management label is, must do the share in the achievement of the financial objectives of the company. So, the finance function is one of the three basic management functions. The other are the production and the marketing so we already know what is marketing and the production it is a process of making products or services no? so we will proceed to the determination of funds requirements so Business firms will need funds for the following specific requirements. The first one is to finance the daily operation of the business, for example. Especially, so the daily operation, what are the costs, what are the expenses for the business. Another one is to finance the firm's credit services. We know already what is credit services. Another one is to finance the purchase of inventory. So the inventory of all the products or services in your company. Another one is to finance the purchase of the major assets. Major assets like computers, uh, any property from the company, uh, important for the business. Okay, those are the determination of the funds requirements in the business so in figure 76 the finance functions is a process flow so we have the determination of funds requirements it's, it's either short term or long term the procurement of funds short term and long term and we have the effective and efficient use of funds can be short term or a long term so this is just an example of the process flow of the finance function. Okay, we have also to consider the sources of funds in the finance. So finance a various activities. The business firm will have to make sure the use of its cash flow consisting of the following the cash sales. The first one, cash flow into Covers of firms when it is able to sell in products or services. So we have also the collection of accounts receivable. Some business firms extend credit to customers. When those are settled by the customers, cash is made available to the firm. So we have the loans and the credits. When other sources of financing are not enough, the firm will have to resort to borrowing of cash made available to the firm. We have the sales of assets. The cash is sometimes obtained from the sales of the company's asset. First to be sold are the company's 
IEL assets. About the ownership contribution, when cash is not enough, the firm may tap the owners to invest more money. And we have the advances from the customers. Sometimes, customers are required to pay cash advances in order to meet these steps, the firm is financing its production activities. So those are the sources of the funds, short-term sources of funds. So loans and credits may be classified into short-term, medium-term, or the long-term. Short-term sources of funds are are those with a repayment of schedules of less than one year. Collaterals are sometimes required with a short term credit. So we have the advantages of the short term credit. When the company avails the short term credit, the following advantages may be defined. There are easier to obtain. So creditors maintain the view that the rest involved in the short-term lending is also short-term. Those short-term credits are made available, easily available to qualified borrowers. Short-term finance is often less costly. Since short-term financing is favored to the creditors, they may it available the lower cost of the borrower. Short-term financing of offers flexibility to the borrower. After the borrower has settled the short-term debt, he may consider Disadvantages of short-term credits, short-term financing, also some disadvantages. So short-term credits mature more frequently. They may be placed in the first in the tight position more often than necessary. So when the frequency of the firm cash inflows are more than 12 months apart, the firm could be a serious trouble meeting with a short-term obligation. Short-term debts may be at times be more costly than the long-term debt. When the short-term debts are used to finance long-term expenditure, the frequent renewals, adjustment of terms, and the shopping of the new sources may prove to be more costly. The suppliers of the short-term fund. So the suppliers of short-term funds sometimes Short-term financing is provided in the following. So we have the trade conditions. We have the commercial, the commercial basic, the commercial paper houses, finance companies. We have the factors and the insurance companies. So trade creditors are three suppliers extending are those supplies extending credit to buyers in exchange of manufacturing, processing, reselling goods for profit purposes. So the instrument used in trade credit consists the following, the open book credit, the second one is the trade acceptance and a promissory note. So the open book is a commercial and it permits the customers to pay a goods delivered to him within a specified number of days. The open book credit is a very useful source of financing for daily week firms. The trade acceptance is time drop drawn by the sellers upon a purchase of payable to the seller and pay an accepted by the purchasers and evidence of goods ship and satisfactory and that the price is due and payable under the terms granted in the trade acceptance so we have also here the short-term sources of funds continuation so the commercial bank defines our institution which may be tapped as the sourcing of short-term financing by individual or firms. 
So, commercial paper houses are those that assess business firms in borrowing funds from money market investor. Business finance companies are financial institutions involved financing inventory and equipment of almost all types and the sizes of business firms. Factors are institutions that buy the account receivable of the firms, assuming complete accounting and collection responsibilities. Insurance companies are also possible sources of the short-term funds. So those are the terminologies. So you have to familiar to be familiar with those terminologies. Okay. We have the suppliers of certain farms continuation. So the trade creditors are those suppliers extending credit to buyers engage in manufacturing, processing, and reselling goods for profit purpose. So instrument use in credit, we have the open book credit trade acceptance and the promissory note. Okay. We will define what is open book credit. Open book credit is an unsecured permits customers to pay a goods delivered to him within a specified number of days. Trade acceptance is the time draft drawn by sellers upon the purchase payable to seller as pay and accepted by the purchaser's evidence that the goods ship are satisfactory and that price is due and payable. Promissory note is an unconditional promise in writing made by one person to another signed by the maker engaging to pay demand at fix determinable future time. Trade creditors are those suppliers extending credit to buyers engaged in manufacturing, processing, or selling of goods for the profit purposes. So please familiar those terminologies presented. Okay. We have the long term source of funds. So, classification of long-term sources of funds, a long-term debt classification, either a term loan or a bonds. Term loan is a commercial or industrial loan from a commercial bank, commonly used for the plant and equipment purchase, working capital or debt repayment. Maturity of the term loan is 2 to 30 years. Bonds is a certificate of indebtedness issued by a corporation to the lender. So, please familiar this. Be familiar in these terminologies. So, the long-term sources of funds, we have the types of bonds classification. So, type of bonds, debentures. Debentures, fratures is no collateral requirements. So, mortgage bond secured by real estate. So, collateral trust bonds secured by stocks and bonds owned by a issuing corporation. Guaranteed bonds, payment of the interest of principal is guaranteed by one or more individuals or corporation. Subordinated debentures with an inferior claim over other debt. Convertible bonds. Convertible into shares of common stocks. Bonds with warrants. Warrants are options which permits the holder to buy stocks of issuing company at the stated price. Income bonds pays interest only when earned. So, long-term sources of funds continuation. Common stock is the third source of a long-term the long-term funds comes with the issuance of the common stocks. So, return earnings, on the other hand, is a corporate earnings not paid out as dividends. The best sources of financing. So, the following factors must be considered to the best sources of financing. So, we have the flexibility. The rest, the income, the control, the timing, and the other factors like collateral values, floating, rotation costs, and the speed and the exposure. So try to familiar with this resource of financing. 
we have defined first what is rest. So rest is refers to the uncertainty concerning the losses or injury. Example of rest is R, the fire. So no, the thief or na yung mga watch company. We have the floods or the natural calamities. We have also here the accidents, the non-payment of bills by the customers. We have also the disability and the death, the damage claim from the other parties. So those are the example rest of the company. So indicators of financial health is determined with the use of the three basic basic financial statement. So the first one is the balance sheet. So as mentioned in the chapter 11, if I'm not wrong, so also called the statement of financial position. So we have example there in the, the previous chapter now. The income statement are also called the statement of the operation. So try to observe the difference between the balance sheet, the income statement, and the third one is the statement of changes in financial position. So those are the indi indicators of financial health. So try to familiar familiarize. So the type of risk. Pure risk is one in which there is only a chance of loss. This means that there is no way of making gains with pure risk. So this is pure. Example of this risk is exposure to the loss of the company motor car due to the theft. So what gikawat sa ilang sekenan sa company insurable. So this is insurable and pure risk. On the other hand, the speculative race is one in which there is a chance of either loss or gain. Example of this is the investment in the common stock market. But characteristic is not insurable. So those are the difference. The pure and the speculative. What is the risk management? So risk management is an organized strategy for protecting and conserving the assets and the people. So the purpose of the risk management is to choose intelligently from among all the available methods of dealing with risk in order to secure the economic survival of the firm. So those are the purpose. Try to familiarize and analyze the risk management for the purpose. We have the methods of dealing with rest. So how to deal the rest? We have the method. The first method is rest may be avoided. So there are steps that you can avoid rest. We have also maybe retain, magpabili ng rest. Hazard may be reduced. So losses may be reduced also and rest may be shaped. So those are the methods in dealing with the rest. So try to familiarize. By the way, I will just give you a copy of the module in your GCR. So just wait for my instruction. So we have the summary. The summary of this topic about the management of finance. No? Financing in the business firm is very important management activity. So there is a need of assure everyone concerned that funds are available when they are needed. The first area of concern is the determination of funds requirements. If the amount needed is already known, the next step is to determine the appropriate source of financing. So the various fund sources have their own individual strengths and limitations it is wise to find out through analysis which will benefit the business firm most when the internal sources of funds are not enough to finance operation external sources like those firms granting loans and credits may be considered or maybe tax. so those are the summary so this is the 
topic in this chapter the managing of finance function so i hope everybody will uh, review this presentation and try to study the previous chapter that are already presented the chapter 12 the 13 and this chapter is chapter 14 so the three chapters are the coverage for our final exam so i remember that i will give you another copy of the modules in this chapter for you to review the video presented so expect also that i will give you an online quiz regarding the three chapters so thank you for listening and watching this video